Okay, now that I have the pig blocked out, I'm going to select all the objects and I'm going to go to my display layers and I'm going to select this button and I'm going to create a new layer out of the selected objects, like so. I'm going to double click this layer, give it a new name. I'm going to call it pig blocks. Save it. Can't use any spaces, so save it as pig blocks. And I'm going to click this V button, and it's going to turn into a T. Sometimes it doesn't display. Uh, this is visible, so I'll actually what I need to do is click this button until I see it in template mode. And I'm just going to use this in template mode. And I'm going to change my background because it's hard to see. So I'm going to hit the B key. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these blocks as a template for my pig. And I'm going to start a new model now that I think I have my proportions the way I want them. And I'm going to block out my pig the way I would my other models. Now that this time I'm going to use an option called X-Ray so I can see partially through my mesh so it's partially shaded partially wires and I am going to add some geometry and start to manipulate my pig select this top face and I'm going to keep it simple like everything else I've done so far. And slowly add geometry. Not going to worry too much about rounding it. But I am going to get a basic shape. I think this should be thinner. Then I'm going to extrude the neck. I'm going to keep it pretty simple and extrude one more time for the head. And extrude like so. Now the nice thing is I can always go back. I'm going to hit shift period to grow my selection. just like that. I'm going to wait on the nose. Now one thing that you have to understand about Maya is um, if you're going to attach arms and legs you need to put some spacing here. I can't just put arms and legs in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait a little bit and be patient. But I'm going to add one line exactly down the middle. And if it's not exactly down the middle, it's okay. I can toggle to my front view. And I can hit W and I can move this and I can scale it so that's close enough to the front view. I'm going to modify it a little bit. Then I'm going to add another edge loop here on the side and scale it. Start to round out the body just a bit. Grab this point here, this little vertex. Pull it up. Grab this vertex, pull it down. You can see I'm starting to get a shape of a stuffed animal-like pig. Okay, and I'm just going to continue to sculpt. And there's a nice general shape here for my pig. Now I'm going to socket in the arms and I'm going to socket in the legs. To do that, I'm going to need four sides. I'm going to wait just a little longer before I do that. Um, but I'm getting pretty close that I could probably socket in my arms. I'm going to add a little bit more geometry here. 
Now I like to sock it in my arms and legs with something like this that's four sided. This is a nice area for four sides to sock it in the arm. The legs here, I want to have four sides, but I need the space here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, these four faces right here, and I'm going to scale them in so they have some spacing here between the, where the two legs are going to go. And I want four sides here, so I'm going to insert another edge loop. Okay, now there's four sides for this to socket in nicely. So I'm going to go here to vertex. I'm going to give this a little bit of shape. Select these vertices right here. And if it's getting hard to see, you can just turn off your X-ray mode. Scale these in. So I'm working on getting this nice socketed area. It looks like a leg could go in there. You see that? It looks like there could be a leg that could fit in this. Now, if you find yourself stretching geometry too much, don't worry about it. We can always go back and sculpt geometry back in. Gonna hit B and do a little bit of soft selecting here. The next thing I'm gonna do is shape in my arms. So I'm gonna select this area to put arms in. Gonna hit B so I'm not soft selecting. Just kind of scale these in. So you can see where an arm can socket in right there. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay.